Hello everybody. Today I'm making a vase of sunflowers. I'm using some colorful construction paper and I'm using a glue stick to stick down all the paper that I rip up into the uh, shapes that I'm going to use to make these flowers. And I'm starting off with a long strip at the bottom and that's the table that this vase full of flowers will be sitting on. It's up to you what size you want to rip your paper. You can go really small. You can do sort of bigger rips. And here I'm starting to create the vase. So uh, making a vase and I'm going with a light blue sitting right on top of my table. Just using those ripped up pieces of paper to build up the shape of this vase. I'm making my vase two colors, half blue, half yellow. You can, uh, you can change up the colors however you feel. Um, any sort of colors will work nicely for this, so whatever color you want to make, you can go for it. Once I got my vase done, I'm going to rip some green paper into long strips for the stems of my sunflowers. And I'll start to glue those down so that it looks like the stems are coming right out of the top of this vase. I'll get some stems uh, pointing straight up towards the top, some sticking out to the sides. I'll even get some stems that are uh, curling over the side. Now that I've got my stems glued down, I'll move on to the flowers. And again, you can use whatever colors you like to make whatever shape of flower you desire. I'm going for sort of a, a round flower at the top, using a little pink paper.
I'll also rip some paper into skinnier strips to make uh, some different shaped petals for different kinds of flowers. I find that these long skinny yellow strips look like uh, sunflowers a lot. I really want to fill up the space with as many flowers as I can fit, as well as making sure that I have a, a flower at the top of every stem. I'll use a lighter color piece of paper in the center of some of my flowers, but you'll see that in, in other flowers I use a darker color piece of paper for the center. And in the middle of some of my sunflowers I'll even put a black piece of paper. I'll include some more green pieces for some leaves coming off of these stems. And again, using those thinner strips, ripped real thin, to make uh, some sunflowers. Sometimes when I'm doing this, my hands get a lot of glue on them and it gets really hard to uh, continue picking up the little pieces of paper and sticking them down. So I find that if I rinse off that glue from my hands, it's much easier after that. And don't forget that middle. And there you have it, a beautiful vase full of sunflowers. And my final step is right on the vase, I'm gonna sign my name.